So this is my foolproof way to make Yorkshire puddings. And being a Yorkshire girl myself, obviously it's something I should be able to do in my sleep. But this is a, a recipe that I learned from my mum. It goes by measurement, so it's I kind of make this batch to feed like five of us. Uh, but you can freeze them. So firstly you always measure the volume, and it starts with the eggs. So in here I have got six eggs. I think there's one kind of hiding down at the bottom. And I'm going to measure the volume. So in there, there is 350 ml of egg. Okay, it's very important that you measure that, 350 ml of egg. And then we are going to add 350 ml of plain flour using exactly the same jug. So I keep my flour in a huge kind of vessel container thing, my plain flour. And I have scooped it up and we are just roughly above the 350 ml of plain flour. We're then going to add that to my egg mixture. We then add, but you guessed it, 350 ml of milk. Now I'm lactose intolerant so I just use the lactose dairy free. Here we go, lactose intolerant milk, lactose free. I'm also on Slimming World so it's kind of part of my Slimming World adventure and I would just take whatever the yield is of Yorkshire puddings and use my milk allowance divided by that. So that's 350 ml of milk. And now we mix all this up. I'm just using a hand mixer, nothing special here. For those of you that follow me, you'll know that my normal mixer died last week. Just going to scoop that round. Forgive the noise. Make sure that you incorporate all the flour around the side. Sometimes when you do this, sometimes it looks a little thin. I think sometimes it's not an exact science. So if it's looking a little thin like this, I will probably just scoop just a tad more flour. We're not looking for a thick mixture here. We're looking for a, it's a bit like double cream. It doesn't want to be too thin, too thick. The more you do it, the more you'll understand. So we're just going to add that just to think that, ah, that's more like it. See, that's a little bit thicker. Perfect. And we're now going to just leave that to rest. While we're leaving that to rest, it's just a nice consistency, we'll get the oil ready in the pans. So these are my Yorkshire pudding tins. I've had these from Lakeland. I've had them for quite a long while. Uh, the one at the back is very battered. I've probably had that for about 20, 30 years maybe. Um, this is the one at the front and then I have a bit deeper one for making the higher rised ones. You put the oil in the bottom. Um, I have done one earlier with fry light, so. Uh, but fry light doesn't work quite as well, so if you are on Slimming Well, fry light would be better for these. We are now going to put these in a very, very hot oven. The hotter the oven, uh, they, the oil needs to come out literally smoking. Albeit my dad, when he did this, used to do it on cold oil. Not tried it yet, but I must try that sometime soon. So they're just going to go in the oven now. Okay, so they're now giving off a nice steam. They're bubbling up a little bit. Maybe could have done with a bit longer. Um, you can kind of smell when it's ready because it makes your eyes steam. Sure, Gordon Ramsay doesn't cook that way, but that's the way I cook. So as I say, probably could have done with a wee bit longer, but just pour them in, cover the bottom of the base, all of them. I'm gonna keep the oven at the temperature it's in. Okay, so we're gonna keep the, the oven right high at the temperature. Just gonna I'm going to cook two lots at the same time, so they're going, one lot's going at the bottom. Because I don't have that bigger oven. So I'm still keeping it at that temp, I'm not turning it down. I'm going to whack them in there, and we're going to leave them in there now for about 15 minutes. So these are now cooked. Whew, excuse the steam. <laughs> Little steam back there. I probably overcooked them, to be honest. But these are my, my risen... Yorkies, these are the ones that were in the bigger pans at the bottom. You see how nice and crisp they are? But the top ones may have stuck, they have, they've stuck to the top of the oven, the buggers. And these are the ones, oh, that's actually proper stuck to the top of the oven. <laughs> there you have the most amazing Yorkshires that have actually stuck to the top of the oven, so I'm sorry, you'll see how crispy they are, how full they are, look. I don't think the actual video does it justice. And they have been in there for about 20 minutes on 220 electric. It's probably about gas mark six. Nice and crisp. 
can leave them there to stand. They'll cool, you can reheat them, you can freeze them. These are the little flat ones because they're wider and these are the ones that stuck to the top of the oven. So look, it's absolutely perfection. I hope you enjoy them as much as we do. Cover them in thick onion gravy. Yum, yum, yum.